Okay, so whenever you have a passport application, you need to sum submit a new picture of yourself within the last six months. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the basics here, let's go over it. You must submit a color photo taken in the last six months. You can do that with your smartphone. Use a clear image of your face. Do not use filters commonly used on social media. Have someone else take your photo. No selfies. But how are they supposed to tell? I don't know. Take off your eyeglasses for your photos. So if you wear glasses, make sure you take them off. I do, so I have to take mine off. Use a plain white or off-white background. So something similar to white, pretty much there. Submit a high resolution photo that is not blurry, grainy, or pixelated. The correct size of a passport photo is two by two. 71, oh, 51 by 51 millimeters. Head must be one to one and three eighths inches from the bottom of the, of the chin to the top of the head. Print on matte or glossy photo quality paper. Do not digitally change the photo. You cannot submit a damaged photo with holes, creases, or smudge. smudges. Have a neutral face or a natural smile. With both eyes open, face the camera directly with a full face in view. No two parents of young children. We have sample photos in the photo sample section below with tips on for submitting a baby passport photo. We realize that an infant's pose and expressions are challenging to maintain a photo. Attire. You cannot wear glasses. If you cannot remove your glasses for medical reasons, please include a signed in note from your doctor. Taking in no clothing normally worn on a daily basis. You cannot wear a uniform, clothing that looks like uniform, or camouflage attire. You cannot wear a hat or a head covering. You cannot wear he headphones or wireless hand-free devices. You can wear jewelry and keep on your facial piercings as long as they don't hide your face. Permanent tattoos are acceptable for passport purposes as well. So this is a acceptable photo, clear in colors, Reproduce the skin tones accurately. Underexposed, color accurate, it's for kids. A shadow. Of course, no glasses, size and position. It is centered in the correct size. It can't be off the side. Head is too small, head is too. not in the photo. Resolution sharp without any visible pixel or dot printer printer dots. Maybe blurry, grainy, blurry. Does not fit. Okay. You know not to digitally alternate or retouch. Pose and expression. Be right in front of the camera. A neutral expression where but a natural smile is acceptable. Alright. No hat and tires. As long as you don't cover your face, you're good. Background. You can see is like white ish. So you can't use different colors. Only white or off white. The children. That's a challenge in itself. And here's more questions. Can I wear glasses, sunglasses? That's already a no. 
what pose should be in right in front of the camera. Cannot wear anything to cover your face. Cannot wear a uniform. It's all inserted in the top. Is there a red eye? No, you cannot. Can I smile in my passport photo? Yes. Make sure your eyes are both open. Best way to take a photo of a baby is holler. That's helpful. So set the bow to for my child's eyes to be closed. Huh. Okay. Do I need a new photo if my appearance changed? Only if your appearance has significantly changed from what is current in your current passport. Growing a beard, coloring your hair may not cons constitute a significant change. Alright. One way to get a cheap passport photo is to upload the photo, make it a 4x6, and then just print it out like a normal 4x6, which saves you quite a bit of money. So, here is the price for just one photo. But if I go to print a 4x6, The example. So do a four by six only twenty five cents. Okay, so there is this tool right here I'm using. So you upload your photo. Here's my photo. And I'll use flash. And not changing any of these, you're not supposed to. I don't know why it gives you that option. And here's the photo editor. Let's see, it's kind of close. But zoom in a little bit, and there you go. Now it's lined up. It looks good. All right, looks good. So according to this tool, just the bottom green rectangle to the chin, align the upper green rectangle to the top of the head. You can move the crop frame with the buttons or you can use the scale buttons. Right. So the top of the head, chin, maybe a little more room. That way you can't reject it, right? Like so. Everything seems even, everything's good here. And then that's a preview, and then just make the photo. And preview. You cannot print this. So I can, we'll be able to download it in 76 seconds. Print the photo, download the photo with a photo printer. Use quality photo paper for printing. Use the printer's own software because it, with it you can set the proper 10 by 15 centimeter, 4 by 6 print size. If you do not have your own photo printer, you can get it printed in a digital photo lab. Please give the proper 4 by 6 inch size when you order print. Cut the printed photo along the, the black lines and then you're good. Okay, so now it's ready to download, so click on that. that open up a window to save and there you go. That's how it is. Now if you want to use Walmart, which is up over here. And then add 4x6. That's good. One, I'll order another one. 50 cents. Matt, one hour photo. I don't need delivery. That, add that to cart. Pick up in an hour. Actually, let's order them more. Two more. Right. So that's 16 passport photos versus one. For seven dollar forty four cents, this is just a dollar. 
So we'll continue to check out. This is where I'm picking it up. Available at 240. They'll hold it for 10 or 7 days. Charge your tax. Continue. Photo ID. Alright. Notifications if you need to. Then I will pay with my card, so I will continue after I put my credit card information. Okay, after that, review your information and then hit place your order, and your passport photo should be ready within an hour. So, hopefully, this helped you get cheaper passport photos. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and I will see you next time.